Yo, what's up, Massive? This is your truly Nati Conqueror, and I'm here with Dazzle Magazine. Blessings. This segment is brought to you by 123 Digital Limited, your online and offline strategists. I'm Nati Conqueror. My real name is Nati Charles Mata. I was born in Brooklyn, New York. And I came to St. Lucia one year and three months with my parents. And I raised in a small little community of Denny Riviere in the Denry Valley. And that's where I spent my entire life with my siblings and parents. I started my musical journey in September 1996. That's when I decided to take music very seriously. And then growing up, before I was a singer, before I had any of my music out there, I used to be singing a lot of reggae artist songs. So that's how I get a lot of inspiration, you know, because my dad plays a lot of reggae artists, you know, just name it, you know, there's, there's so much to mention, but conscious reggae music. Well, I started singing at the age of five, you know, and I used to be singing, you know, with my siblings because the way we were brought up, we used to get up in the morning and pray and read psalms and, and give praises, give eyes, you know, because uh, the way we raise, like, you know, we raise um, giving God thanks and praise whether in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening. You know, understand? And that's how I started. And then, you know, it, it, it wasn't me to be a singer. Because I used to visualize, you know, myself as one of the artists that stand up in front of a massive crowd, performing, you know, and, and everybody there watching me. I always have that vision because I used to do a lot of stage performance. The place where I raised, up in the hills, there used to, it, it used to be a banana plantation. And I used to visualize all the banana trees as audiences. And then I used to, you know, cut a piece of wood and shape it like a microphone and, you know, practice and perform in front of all the banana trees. Like, when you see the wind blow and all the banana trees shaking, then, and I mean, I visualize as if, as if the audience are shaking. So, from, from youth, I had that mindset growing up. Until now, I reach on the stage. Well, the way I started out, I, we all started out with Bucket. You know, me, I, I'm on the box guitar. My other brother is on the drum. There's a drum and there's the Bucket. And there's, um, there was also um, tins, like, um, like those carnation tins. We used to gather them and build, like form a drum kit, you know? So my, my brother's on that. Then I, I have my sister on the timbrels. And then we, we used to make a sound, you know what I mean? Until then, it so happened Then my dad decided, well, he, he wanted to have us, you know, to go on a different level of the music. So he, he have um, other people that used to, that live next to us as our next door neighbors. They used to go out and look for some versions and some instrumental from different various reggae artists, you know, so we could write on the version and hold a beat, hold a bar, you know what I mean? They'll go off key and so on, and that's how you know, we started, but me personally, um, since I'm more into it, deeply into the music vibe, I decide I, I want to carry on, you know, wh whether with my siblings or solo, because, you know, first of all, I started out with my siblings and the, the, the name was Intelligent Youths before Nati Conqueror, but still, I'm the lead vocals of, you know, the group Intelligent Youths because my other siblings, they also sing as well. Before CDs, it was cassettes, because that's how I started my musical journey, through cassettes, recording from cassette to cassette and choosing the good songs from another cassette to put to another cassette. And then during that time, um, we used to give different people cassettes, you know, with our voice on it and so on. And then it so happened, the CD came in and then we had to change from cassette to go to CDs now and then my dad decided, well, since we live in the hills and we raise up in the hills, we never been to no 
public school, we do all our schooling at home. He decided, well, since we at home and then we don't have no television, no computer, he decided, well, he's going to bring those things up in the hills. And that's where I get to learn how to use a computer in the hills. So I, I get to use the computer, I get to know how to burn the CD, how to record the song, how to mix it down, master it, you know, see if it's sounding properly. And when I'm recording, don't, don't let it touch to red light. Because most time, you know, I mean, he, he, he don't have the people bring the computers for us. We also have books where we could study how to either study music or, or study how to record or, and so on. And I mean, so I did my first recording on CD up in the hills. And then, you know, first of all, we, we get our music played on the radio for the first time in 2008. Yeah, with my siblings, you know, intelligent youths. First radio station ever to play our song was Radio 100, Helen FM. Well, I sit down, most time I sit down by myself alone to write my songs. And I just, most time I go by the river, I, I hold a notebook, you know? Because sometimes you're there and you sit there and, and all of a sudden a verse or chorus just hit your head one time. And you know, I mean, if you don't have time to write that, then it, it, it leaves and if sometimes it it might even be difficult to get it back again. There are some songs that are like that, you know? So most time I sit down by the river alone by myself and listening to the sounds of the river, the birds, you know what I mean? The way how the, 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 the wind blow the trees and all them voices, you know what I mean? Different sounds of, of, of the hills. So that gives me a lot of inspiration to sing. Plus, listening to a lot of elderly people talking and, you know, listening to different conversations for the day. It also gave me inspiration to sing and write my songs and also different situations that is going on in different environment. You know what I mean? That also gave me inspiration to sing. The way I came out with that song, Not Not Giving Up, was one day, me and my mother and my siblings, we all went and saw Morgan Heritage perform at Fondo Jazz in 2014. And I was sitting, in fact, I, me and my, my family was in the crowd and then when Morgan Heritage was performing, all of a sudden I saw one of my brother went on the stage with Morgan Heritage. So I decided, well, I'm not going to stay in the crowd and see my brother on the stage. And then I don't go. So there was a security next to me in, in the crowd. I tell the security, if I can go on the stage, the security told me, yeah. So when I was climbing the, uh, the stage coming up now, the other security didn't know that security had told me to come on the stage. He just hold me behind my pants and pulled me off of the stage. And I almost get hurt that night in front of everybody that was there. So what happened after that incident happened, uh, the verse came out like that. Even though they tried to drag me off the stage, nothing not giving up. Even though they tried to damage my image, nothing not giving up. That's how it came out. Yeah, I produced a song, but the, the rhythm of the song is produced by Chimney Records in Jamaica. This is Nati Conqueror, breaking down Nati Not Giving Up, introduction. To all my poor people out there, just be strong. Continue struggling and keep holding on. Giving up is not the solution. Now, explaining the introduction of the song is giving the people full encouragement and full strength on their journey while they are going for a lot just don't give up be strong one day you must get where you want to go chorus because even though the cost of living gets so high and things get tough naughty not giving up giving up is not a solution and even though the road out there gets rough and times get serious Naughty not giving up. Me have you reach way high up to the top. Now, explanation for the chorus is anyone that don't give up, they are a naughty dread. They are a naughty conqueror. Because I know there's a lot of naughty dread out there. And I want to reach out to all the naughty dread, all the strong people, you know, whether you, you're strong physically, mentally, or spiritually, we don't give up. So naughty, don't, naughty not giving up is for every, every naughty dread. Everyone that are very strong, you don't give up, you are naughty dread. Verse. 
The system is designed to keep all people in a poverty, making life difficult for them to live. We feel the pain and pressure every day. They make it hard by raising tax and prices on everything, while the rich people them refuse to give. But poor people, please don't give up the struggle. So explanation for the verse is, most time when, when you're trying to make a living or when you're trying to help yourself, it's very difficult because people that are in power, people that are fortunate to help, they will not help. They will just see you, you know, struggling and they will not do nothing about your situation. And then when, when you're trying to help yourself, then you have another set of people that are trying to keep you down or trying to make other people, discourage other people not to give you a helping hand. Verse 2. I see so many people come in the struggle many years before me. Some of them don't give up their faith already. Them say the load too heavy to carry. But it only take a strong passion man to eternity. Even if the situation gets sticky. The hotter the battle, sweeter the victory. The explanation for this verse, verse number two is, I've seen so many people come in the struggle long before I was born and then when I thought that these people were the strongest in Amen and I look up to them as living example, as role models, then some of them give up because of certain situation and so certain circumstances and then you know a lot of them fail you know they just give up completely so it is up to me to say continue the struggle and don't give up so that that's how the verse come up bridge there must be a brighter day for the poor people of today who working very hard and them not get no pay i know the race is not for the swift not a battle for the strong but for those who can't endure to the end so the bridge of that is giving the people a full encouragement you know giving them some comfort letting them know that better must come things must get better no matter all what we go through weeping may endure for a night but joy cometh in the morning so is you know to keep them in a in a state of mind where they have to be strong and just hold the faith that they have the faith and the you know the determination that everything will be good and things must get better for each and every one of us no matter what the situation may be my advice to all the youths them in St. Lucia is don't give up continue doing what you're doing all right in spite of the trials and the tribulation and the persecution the scorn the reproach you might get from other people whether even from your own family or your own relatives friends neighbors just Stay focused and keep a firm meditation, you know. Whatever you want to do in life, just continue doing it. As long as it is on the good side. You understand? You can be a singer, you can be a, a producer, you could be an actor or a, a, a comedian. Wh whatever you choose to do, as long as it is right and it is pleasing in the eyes of the Most High, then continue going there because... You might get fried down. You, you, you might get criticism. People will just bash you. People will try to bring you down, tell you that you don't have a good voice or, you, or your work is not that perfect. Don't give up. Just continue making it better and better because that is what I'm doing and I've been in, in that road before. So I'm telling you guys out there, do the same. You know, Don't give up. Just continue doing what you have to do. Well, for those of you who want to reach out to Nati Conqueror on the platform, social media platforms, you can like my Facebook page, um, Nati Conqueror Music. You can follow me on Instagram, I'm Nati Conqueror Divine. And you could also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Nati Conqueror Music. And follow me also on the audio mark, Nati Conqueror Music. I'm also on uh, Reverb Nation, Nati Conqueror. SoundCloud Nati Conqueror, Twitter Nati Conqueror. And hey guys, 
Don't forget to subscribe to Dazzle Magazine on YouTube. Nati not giving up.